In part due to high demand among its citizens, the United States is the largest broiler producer in the world. And although billions of pounds of chickens are slaughtered and sold each year in the U.S., have you ever wondered how the process takes place? Starting from scratch, or better to say, egg, how do the companies reach unimaginable numbers of chickens every year? Let's see how broiler chickens are produced in America. The United States has become the world's second largest exporter of broilers after only Brazil. Georgia, Arkansas, Alabama, North Carolina, and Mississippi are the top five states in terms of broiler production. The firms have signed contracts with about 25,000 family farms to ensure a certain amount of produce. These farms account for roughly 95% of all broiler production, with the remaining 5% coming from those controlled by the corporation. Although leading the broiler industry now, success did not come easy for the U.S. About 30 businesses, all subject to federal inspection, are vertically integrated into the chicken industry, meaning they are involved in every state of production, from hatching eggs to packaging and selling the final product. To reach market weight, it can take broiler chickens up to seven weeks. At the appropriate age and weight, Humanely trained farm workers come to the farm to catch each chicken individually. The chickens are moved into holding cages or modular bins that have been constructed for the purpose of transporting the birds to the processing plant without harming the birds or the other animals in the process. Although this is basically what goes on behind the scenes, we have divided the process into numerous simpler steps that would help you better understand everything. One reaching the farm and stunning. All the care given to chickens while they are being raised on the farm is also given during their brief journey to the processing plant. Birds are suspended by their feet on a moving line once they arrive and rub bars help the birds relax. They are also sedated to make them insensitive to pain before being slaughtered. Then comes electrical stunning, used to render broilers unconscious. Two slaughter and evisceration. Next comes slaughtering, which thanks to modern technology has become a rapid and painless process. While a single slash to the neck of a sleeping bird is usually sufficient, trained staff members are on hand to swiftly put down any remaining birds should the blade miss. Feathering is the post-slaughter step. This is required prior to processing the bird. Starting with a bath in hot water, the chicken's feathers can be more easily removed. Pickers, which are machines with hundreds of tiny rubber fingers that spin in a circle, are used for the process. After the bird's feathers have been plucked, they are taken to an eviscerating line where their internal organs and feet are removed. 3. Cleaning and chilling. Carcasses are then cleaned and inspected. Each bird may be rinsed with water and an organic rinse to further decrease bacteria. Both the United States Department of Agriculture and the Food and Drug Administration, or the FDA, strictly oversee the use of any substance for this purpose, ensuring that only safe ingredients are utilized. After many inspections, the birds are chilled to a lower temperature to maintain freshness and cleanliness. When a bird is sent to be chilled, it is again subject to a battery of tests in accordance with both government and corporate guidelines. 4. More testing Microbiological tests, undertaken by both private companies and the USDA, are performed on equipment and finished goods at chicken facilities after the birds have been cooled. There will be salmonella testing and other similar procedures performed. Due to the efficiency of these procedures, the proportion of positive salmonella results relative to total production is extremely low in the industry. 5. Processing after the carcass has been thoroughly inspected, refrigerated, and cleaned, it is often sliced and deboned so that it can be used in a wide range of goods. The chicken used in restaurants and for export may come from the same processing factory as the fresh and frozen chicken sold in grocery stores. Every piece of chicken undergoes more than 300 inspections for quality, freshness, and safety altogether before it ever reaches consumers. 6. Packaging and Shipping the finished chickens are wrapped, and once this is done, the item undergoes yet another round of quality checks. 
a blast tunnel is used to rapidly cool the product that has been wrapped. This ensures that the product will remain fresh for a longer period of time. When the product has reached the appropriate temperature, it is then weighed, and the price and safe handling instructions are printed and attached to the package. The product then goes through a metal detector for a final inspection to rule out any stowaways. Next comes the labeling, by which you can tell when a product was packaged, where it was made, and what USDA inspections were performed on it. And only after all these steps can a product be shipped. The chicken is finally on its way to the supermarket. Trailers are checked to make sure that they are cooled and cleaned before the finished product is loaded onto trucks. Sealing the trailer with a tamper-evident seal is the final step before sending the load out. To maintain the product's safety and purity, the seal is not broken until it reaches the buyer. This brings us to the end of this video. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing and sharing so we can keep bringing more content like this. Also, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. See you next time!